Speaking of which, I got something for you. Speaking of back in the day. Craig is old enough now to where he always carries where there's originals in his pocket. And I'm not mad at it, honestly. Welcome back to Drift HQ. Right. We're gonna do something different today. That's right. We're gonna actually go in depth on some Q&A for you guys and answer all the questions that you've been doing and asking us on YouTube. And then we're gonna go show you the warehouse and all the other employees. So you can see like a day in the life of what actually happens at Drift HQ, not just here in the shop. We're gonna go mess with the salesmen, mess with the guys in the warehouse, ask them questions, you know, just get to see the whole place. It's gonna be fun. And all I we feel didn't... like all of my friends always say, it's like, oh, it looks like it's just a party the whole time over there. Like you guys are always just like drifting and having parties and having fun. I'm just like, no, no, that's, we, that's not at all what happens. It's yeah. like, it's a job at the end of the day. But I mean, we do have fun, don't get me wrong, but. Yeah, we'll do a walk over there, Joel, so they can see how actually peaceful and tranquil it is. And it's not always drift cars ripping, dirt bikes, side by sides going crazy. Just BMW's no. door buzzers beeping the whole time. The whole time. That's we'll, good though. We'll have AI take that out. Won't have them take it out. They need to understand. Yeah, if we have to deal with the beep, so do you guys, all right? Day in the life of. Let's start with uh, one of the questions that was asked about this car. Dal oh, Dalton Belanger. Belanger. 7714. Gets rear bumper, fastens it with self-tappers. Aha! You were right, uh, Dalton, we do. Usually when we start doing our body kits and everything, we will do a self-tapper for many reasons. One, it will drill the hole for you, it'll drill a nice pilot hole, and it'll stick it there where you want it to stay. So, and most self-tappers, if you use a quarter inch one, they work really good for the eighth inch um, rivets. So they can use, you can be used as a rivet afterwards, or you can drill the hole bigger and do a nut cert like we do. So the bumper is also nut certed, or nut and bolted on. And another reason why we had to do that was this is a aftermarket support. Actually, we made the whole middle part, but this was HGK, and then we made this center section, so we had to make our own tabs nut and bolt it so yeah we did initially put some self tappers in there but that's just for pilot holes you know it's the same thing when we put on over fenders and stuff a lot of times we get over fenders they're very wavy and bowy so we'll push it down and you keep the tension where you want it bolt it take the bow out of it move to the next spot so you're actually putting tension between the bolt holes instead of just you know allowing it to be all wavy and not look great well it helps a lot all right next question how do we contact adam you don't you don't no no it's a uh, Polish Adam. So Polish Adam, we um, answered it in the last video too, but we will put his name at the bottom right here. If you guys want to check him out, he has an Instagram and a YouTube. I don't know which one's going to be which, but he's right there. If you want to bother him, feel free to. Don't bother Bartek, all right? We need him here. We need him answering our questions. Do a challenge where you take front wheel drive. Yeah, we're going to do that. But the problem is there's only one front wheel drive car here at the whole compound, and it's currently my daily. So if you want us to take the front wheel drive cars and do the thick um, Burger King trays underneath it and just whip donuts and see if me or Chris throws up first. I'm not gonna throw up because of the G's, I'm just gonna throw up because of the principle of the thing. All right, next. Heard someone say off-road buggy build. That's well, definitely a must build. Maybe we'll give you a little glimpse on our walk over to the warehouse. Yeah, maybe. Doing some things. So I don't know, me and Chris have been talking about this since we moved here. But this is something that we've been wanting to do for a long time. Me and Chris have been thinking about it. We already know what we're gonna do. We already know how to make it, have a lift kit and everything. So it's it's in the books. It's in the books. You can't see a timeline right now. We're not sure when we're gonna start on it. Hopefully within the next couple months, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. You're gonna like it. So we wanted to come in here and go over it with you just to show you guys. So there's a reason why we haven't released this kit to the public. And it's because we wanted, when we first got the kit, it didn't fit as well as it should have. You guys saw the videos where Josh had to do a whole bunch of fiberglass work on it just to get it to fit properly. And the fit and finish on it now is flawless, but we can't find anyone to actually produce this fit and finish on the body kit. And if it doesn't fit this well, we don't want anybody else to have to deal with the type of stuff that we did. So as of right now, we're not releasing the Bjork kit to the public just because we won't, we don't want anybody to be unhappy with, you know, our fit and finish on it. So we're going to reach out and try to find someone. If you're listening and you're watching this and you're good at fiberglass, you know how to do this kind of stuff and you want to contact us, we'd be more than happy to listen to you and see what you have to say and see if you can make this kit for us. Because as it sits right now, it's beautiful. Everything fits, fits around the moldings. Everything's tight. There's no air gaps. There's nothing. That wasn't the case initially. Huh. Remember this build, Chris? 
Pepperidge Farm remembers. So anybody that was wondering about this car, you never got to see it. You never got to see what actually happened with it. We finished it. The other video of it is on Adam's channel. If you'd like to see how much horsepower it made, the dyno tuning with Jordan and all that fun stuff and him ripping it around, go check out his channel for it because it's on there. What did I say to you yesterday? It was something that was fucking I was on Dayquil and my yeah. I mean, Chris and Kirky were sick yesterday. We were sick. We're, we're still sick. We're still sick. That's why we're sweating, sick standing today. still. That's why we're having this improv video. Yeah. yeah. We're sick. We couldn't get enough done yesterday to make a whole video for you. So we're just going to improv it and wing it. We're providing some kind of content for you guys. Yeah. At least some insights into what goes on around these parts. We're vlogging for once. Is that what we're doing? I think that's, what, they call it. I think that's what the kids call vlogging. Isn't that when you record yourself? Wait, hold on. There it is. I feel better? Yeah. It See? Be in the video right too now. There he is. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And then we got Jim. Groundskeeper Jim. Hi. Jimothy. Oh, oh. getting spicy today. What's up? Wheelie, what y'all doing? A wheelie? Yeah. Well, Jim can wheelie. Wheelie Dan. Yeah. Right. Solid approach. Better than I could do. For a top heavy ride. Much better. Eh? You got like four feet of air that time. So anytime that we have to run from our shop to the main shop, this is what we have to do. But we don't have one of those. We have little scooters. Electric scooters. They work real good. So they go about 16 miles an hour if you get in a very aerodynamic tuck. Yeah. And I ate shit on one earlier this week. That's a nice car right there. Employee car. Reese! The gang shit. Oh. What's up, baby? Part of the Purple Peak gang. Hey, that's my one year. One year anniversary here? Yeah, one year. Hell uh, yeah. Hello. He's visited Jordan, if you can't tell. Do you hear that little blub, 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 blub. All right, so we usually have, this is our office space. Usually there's a really sweet yellow E46 in here, M3. But we have so much stuff from HGK and we're organizing the shop right now that HGK got to take over most of this. And then don't pay no attention to Colette's S15 interior. That'll be out of here. Um, just pay attention to the nice crispy air conditioning that's in here. It's like 68 degrees in this place at all times. We need to Not grab a long it. vent and just suck just the air from here and go to there. Yeah, because you know? siphoning. And we build drift cars, they build drift baby cars here. Yeah, and Mitch, Mitch actually just won again. Well, I mean, not recently, but he did win something for Rich isn't here, he left. He has his 3D, 3D printer going. He 3D prints parts for his RC cars while he's at work, working real hard. It's actually, it's after five, I think. So you yeah, look at all those little prototypes and everything. Yeah. So we wanted to introduce um, most of our salespeople, but we kind of came in a little late today to do that. But Ryan is one of our salesmen here, very knowledgeable. If you have any questions, feel free to email him. It's Ryan at drifthq.com. Yes, sir. And then you can also reach him, maybe Instagram. No, mostly Sometimes. email. Sometimes. Stick to the email. Stick to the email. He's very knowledgeable on all parts, BMW related. RB, big RB guy, huge RB guy. I don't know why. We had to have one person that knew about RBs and enjoyed them and liked working on them and talking about them. So this is your guy. If you're an RB guy, call Ryan. Call me. Don't call don't me ask either. Any RB questions. Unless you want to bash him. <laughs> RB's yeah, not Ryan. Ryan's our sweet boy. We have Adrian over here. Adrian, what do you do? Enlighten me on the finer points of your job. Besides just being flawless and smiling all the time. He has to wear Tim's to work every day. That's a job requirement. Well, he used to have oh, oh, <laughs> Watch out. Tim's in gray sweatpants. That's big New York. Here's his business card. There you go. Put him on. Order processing. All right. So if you have ordered parts and they haven't gotten to you yet, sounds like that's his problem. Is that what that is? Your customer <laughs> service for order processing? Well, my or, handles more of the customer service. I just process all the orders that are not in stock here, and I reach out to the vendors so that we can get them quicker to the customers. Okay, so for instance, like drop shipping, you do all the drop shipping stuff. So anything that we don't have here in stock, Hadrian is your guy that makes sure that the parts are getting sent on time, the manufacturer actually has them in stock when you order them, and does all that. No? Yes? Yes. All right. We got Brian. <laughs> yeah, Brian started Sweet working boy. remotely, so that's our. This is our filling. tribute to him, so he yeah. stays in. Omar, uh, nice. the trunk princess. Trunk princess. Day. Yeah, he is our newest employee, I believe. Moved from Fort Myers. We used to give him such a hard time back in the day. Like, used to. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, like we used to. We like him. He's a great guy. He moved up here. He does. What do you do now? I basically answer your chat. Anybody that goes onto the online chat, I am the one who is answering. So 
whenever you guys ask like if there's a stock availability i'm the one that goes to check if i like see something that i can direct to mitch for support i'll send you guys over to him and he'll pretty much help you out from there on and then i kind of just split everything between all of us salesmen because i am learning and growing to become a salesman as well so it's just kind of like making sure everybody's getting fed and just you know enjoying the day and uh you know have my sick picture of poppy here that's to know. make sure that you don't cough yeah yeah and you, you stay know. stay focused you gotta make sure i'm doing good man gotta keep up with the boys so you know i'll just be chilling here so you're the face of the chat line the yeah. chat okay pretty much pretty much so yeah i'm just the one that's always going to be like answering i have a couple customers that are like yo like i have a bunch of fun and i try to just keep it fun with everybody you know like i am a person i'm not a robot so you know if you have jokes and stuff send them to me feel free and i will i love dad jokes so dad jokes are just makes my day all right so everyone check. omar not a robot check, check. He's not checking the box. He's not. He's not checking the box. Checking the box. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Last but not least, our warehouse. The warehouse. It's really bright in here. If you guys have watched our C4 build, you would know that we actually built a Corvette somewhere over in that area. Somewhere over there. Your orange skyscrapers here. So we have. There was a lift in here. There was actually one, two, three, four lifts in here at one time. Now there's no lifts in here. And there's a whole bunch of warehouse workers, salesmen. Let's make a line. I'm gonna run through you guys just like the pop, 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 pop. This is John Pro 3. If you guys haven't met him yet, John Porto, he is a salesman here. Yep. Very knowledgeable. Uh, hablo espanol as well. And Portuguese. Portuguese. Well, you speak Spanish too, don't you? Yeah. Yep. And English. And English. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as that one. Portuguese Not and bad. Spanish, he's pretty good at it. Um, another RV guy, you know, they're like growing on trees around here or something. Yeah. Oh, it's not running, so it's not. One event, he was an RV guy. One of them. Six LS guy. Six guy. Six guy. Strongest he actually class. bought my old uh, 302 small block. Oh, yeah. And, and the had E36. it in his car for the E36 for the longest time. Yeah. Then he sold it. Still running. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Still running yeah, today. Still running today. Yeah, how girl. about that RV, though, huh? Yeah. $500 motor outlast stuff. That one's out. All right, so what's your specialty here? Uh, car related. As far as car related, um, I'm you about. LS kind of guy if I can be. So LS supercharged is was my thing. Now I'm one UZ, um, pretty much one UZ, and then trying to set up another LS in my one series. So that's kind of my area of where I try to stay at. So V8, one series, BMW stuff. Big BMW guy. Yeah, and you have 240s too. So you know yeah, 240 stuff. Verts. So one, one vert. is 13 vert, and then I have the E36 vert. One series, a 350Z, and an S14 RV. All right, so there you go. Any questions you have on any of those chassis? He's already screwed them up and fixed them and screwed them up again. So yeah. he probably knows the pain you're going through, and he can help you. Yeah. Right? Been through that blood, sweat, and tears. We got Ben over here. Ben is our warehouse supervisor. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. We'll go with that. Ben knows where everything is in stock. I can walk in here and be like, Ben, I need to see and see. Let's test them out. Ooh, okay. Chris. I need... E46 trailing around bushing. Ben? Oh, wait, what do you find? Is that? Hey. There you go, right there. And just elaborate on, I'm not wearing my hat right now, I'm wearing my whole fast hat, but we have all the funk in stock. What kind of products do you have? Heat management products. Like, what's that? What is that? Heat management. So you can get shielding for your turbos, exhaust, they have line shielding too, um, wastegate stuff, anything for lines, tubing, hoses. Uh, they also have them for sensors now too so they have like little sensor sleeves they're little cute things i don't know if they have any on here but and it protects them from what from heating up and melting shit all over your engine bay mm. protects it from heat 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 miami protects them from miami protects them from joel <laughs> miami heat and it looks cool too you know because the hot side of your turbo let's face it most of them are cast and they get all crusty and rusty and they look like garbage the front side always looks good on a turbo the back side not so good you put one of those johnnies on there and really dresses it up. Chef's kiss. All right, look at this. We got a couple more in line. Mitch, come over here. We already talked about you, but have you, you already talked about me? We did. We were bragging about you. 3D printing parts for RC cars. We sell RC cars here now, don't we? We're about to. We're about to. Yeah, All we're right. About to. So we're if, still venturing into that. Mitch is the uh, regional RC drift champion. Yep. I am from Hyperfest. He is. I actually didn't win my contest at Hyperfest this year, but we still came home with a W because Mitch, he was holding the weight. And I'm just breaking shit over here. 
So actually, I lied when I said Omar was our newest employee. Arthur, or Chris, I call him Arthur because there's a Chris, there's a Chris, and there's a Chris. And Arthur's a really cool name, and this is his kingdom, the warehouse. Basically. So is. Arthur is in charge of shipping and doing all that kind of stuff. If Ben isn't around for me to ask questions and bother, this is, this is my guy right here. How do you like working here so far? We're going to give you a hit. This is your 60-day interview. <laughs> I love it. There's a lot to take on. Obviously, you see, I got to try to keep track of all the inventory. They really threw you right into the wolves. They were like, hey, thanks for coming and working with us. All right, you're going to rip all of this down and then you're gonna rebuild it all but he had his whole little map set up structure everything there it is babies thank you it? spit it out <laughs> she's doing great for those of you who don't know that is mimi she is the shop supervisor slash foreman she's the babies and the babies yeah so what do i got left i think i just got lawrence left yeah, right lawrence. Lawrence. lawrence of arabia we need lawrence's whole background story of how he ended up with us lawrence <laughs> he runs shit he runs i yell at people on the need to know that's it. That's all. I'm just gonna overlay sweet motion films, and then <laughs> everybody, everybody will know after. So this. Chris has been hanging out with us since Drift HQ started, when we were in our first little shop, and we were doing, we weren't even doing car parts. We were just working on our own cars and friends' cars, and they were renting out lift space. Chris used to come over and help us with stuff all the time, and then he just up and vanished and went to Arizona and magically reappeared, not any more tan than he was when he left. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now, yeah now he thinks he's in charge or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what he's in charge, really, honestly. He orders us parts and, you know, make sure that we clock in and clock out. <laughs> Cricket, Basically. were you here on Wednesday? Hell yeah, all day. Well, I don't see it here. Yeah. So he makes sure I get paid on time. So yeah, we yeah, really yeah, like That is important. We do appreciate you. Yeah, we like Chris. That's important. So John Pro is a pro at something. It ain't driving, but it's professional at getting your order ready and helping you build the proper drift car. So, John, we have a... Shopping cart. So let's do S14 with a 2J. S14 with a 2J. We're going to the track uh, a week from now, and it's a roller. Bare bones, and no turbos, so just the motor? Just, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give them the goods. All Give right. The goods. I don't know what I need to do. Right. Like, so the Arctic manifold is going to be your top, top, top choice for your manifold needs. So you have a GE in here? Yes, this is going to be for the GE to V band. You need a turbo as well. Yep. Yeah. Um, the turbo will grab it. No, the, uh, the, the newest the gen. Oh, the GBC. Yeah, give me the cheap one. Oh, we're budget building over here now? No, it's not a budget build. It's still an expensive turbo, but it gives you uh, more options to add more parts to your build if you don't spend all of your money on the turbo yeah, right up front. You can still get a Garrett, but they sell a less expensive Garrett. It's journal bearing? Journal bearing. Journal bearing turbo. See, you, you like, I like that, didn't you? Yeah, I'm learning. So you can get a budget side like less expensive turbo from garrett now there's an option for it so that's why i said it's still one. good quality for it then down the road when you're balling you just slap the ball bearing john in the place of the old one you know yeah you definitely need some suspension so, so your car's a roller right now you need some coilovers or something definitely okay. gotta get a hook up with bc oh you got the ds, DS series. series okay put that you on gotta be ready your turbo awesome. got to be fed and drained so always gotta get your turbo lines. We have everything here for you, all the way over from the water cooling, when you have a water cooled turbo, to oil fade and your drain lines. Don't forget something for me. Every fabricator needs one. It's the V-band flange on the back oh, of the, the turbo. Band. Yeah, don't forget that little guy, thank you. Turbo blanket? Yeah, turbo blanket for sure. Uh -huh. It's gonna be a T4. Let's do the titanium. So we wanna be classy. All right, cool. You gonna waste it? We're gonna be getting our V band. Yeah. Can't forget these. Kirk will get mad at you. Definitely. And let's go for a 45 millimeter wastegate. We're probably gonna need a bigger cart. John, you really want to put a DCT in your car. So we got the JV to DCT from PMC. Gotta put that in the cart right there. Boy, don't you need a controller for that too? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, PRP is not only RB, right? They have like Jay Z stuff. No, too. we definitely have Jay Z stuff. So <laughs> Let's just walk right through here. here. We don't have to get it, but like, look at this section. <laughs> this is sick, dude. It's like a whole. For here, it's going to be all of the Jay Z Cameo sensor, oh. the GE titanium intakes. All right, yeah, yeah. We, we, we're just building the car. We'll, we'll make it flossy later. Yeah. Man. All right. You got the controller? Definitely have the controller. HTG. HTG. What? No way. Already, all ready for you to go. 
All right, so here we actually don't play favorites. We do have a great variety of angle kits available for everyone from all the chassis, from WiseFab, SLR, FDF, and CNC. I actually run all three of those companies in all my cars. My one series has a CNC kit. My S13 has an FDF kit and my S14 has a WiseFab kit. So no so bias what here. What are you going with right now? All right, let's do this one. Yeah. So. We're gonna do the S14 V2 with the rack relocation because that comes complete for us. And since we're here and our budget is pretty big, the rear kit for the S14. We're gonna run out of cart really quick. I think this is all that we need right here. You need a hydro. I mean, I don't need a hydro, but you definitely need a hydro. That's definitely gonna be one that we need to pick right here. Pick a hydro. I thought about stepping up and walking over, Chris. <laughs> You're just waiting. Do, 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 do. All right. I have got these shifters. Handbrake. Hydraulic handbrake. Drift HQ. Hydraulic handbrake number six. That's it, right there, baby. I got one of those. Yeah. I haven't installed it yet, because you know, I don't need it. After this, the only other thing we need for the hydro to work with is going to be our. You doing inline? No. Oh, then that means we need brackets to do a caliper. Yeah, you need dual caliper brackets. Why don't you just do it? Yeah, in line. Um, so we need our drift HQ lines. We need a uh, dual caliper bracket, GK Tech. GK Tech. Actually, no, YSF yeah. has the provisions for it. So we just need calipers. Yeah. All right, cool. We skipped the step. You didn't, he, actually, because you got the Wisefab front angle kit and not the rear grip kit. Yeah, the he rear did. Grip no, it's kit. right there. Oh, the grip kit's in there, too? Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, you don't need it then. This is going to be the right one. 0.62 for S14. What do you mean for almost every chassis? 5 8 is. Majority of chassis, yes. Uh, so, like your chassis. is that pretty much the whole build? Is yeah, uh, now you just need a Chris and Cricket to install it for you, but this is all easy bolt on stuff, so anybody can do this from home with uh, four jack stands and, you know, yeah, some. Fuel pump injectors, intercooler, and all those things. I mean, we can keep going. Oh, well, you know, I mean, I'm. Don't let the boy go too crazy. All right, John, give, give me your credit card. Get some miles for that. All right, everybody we're going got to that? Brazil with it. <laughs> you got the number? Yeah, we're going to Brazil with that, boy. Them frequent flyer miles are stacking up. All right, so there you go. That's the easiest uh, build. I wouldn't call it a budget build anymore. As soon as you're with WiseFab. experience when you're adding things to a cart on the website, but this is like what's actually happening as you're adding stuff to the cart. John's working, so keep doing it. Make him work. Give him something to do. And not to mention, every $5 that you spend goes towards winning that yellow FD. So, you know, win the car. And then I would say you could buy parts afterwards for the car, but it's basically, you don't need anything for that car. Oh yeah, they already got the parts from us. It's good to go. Go win, get some t-shirts. All right, so this is our impromptu video that we came up for you guys. If you like it, let us know. We could do more like that. You know, give us some more ideas. This was some of you guys' ideas and we actually, I enjoyed doing it, did you? Yeah. Got to meet everyone, we got the- Good time. Yeah. Good to go say hi to everybody. We don't actually come over here very often during the day. Every now and then we'll come over here and steal some parts or, you know, stuff came in from shipping, but it's nice Birthday to come over here and see. Yeah, let us know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, comment. Y'all, baby, you're going to learn to kick soon. Yeah. There it is. There it is. She got the spin. She got the spin. Yeah, put it all back now. That's not how any of this works. How, how is that even a thing? The babies we got to deal with.